Well, this is certainly another beautiful day for a drive, and I'm very excited because I'm going to Esterville, Iowa, where I'm thinking about relocating. You probably know that I'm thinking about finding a new place to live, and Esterville sounds like a wonderful town. I called Clark and Realty earlier today, and they generously have offered to take me on a tour of Esterville. So I'm pulling up to their place right now. Oh, here we are. Okay. Oh, and there they are right there. Hey, folks. Come on over and join me in the car. Mike, hey, is that right? It's Jeff, isn't it? Yes, it's yes. a pleasure meeting you. Nice pleasure. to finally meet you. And so this is Esterville. Yeah. Well, this certainly looks like an awesome town, Mike. I'll tell you that. It looks incredible. Well, this is my wife, Edith, in the back here. Oh, well, a pleasure, it's Mike. It's nice to finally meet you. Yeah, nice, nice to meeting meet you. you. I think it's you I talked to on the phone. Yes, is that I'm right? I'm sure it was. Yes. Well, there you go. So I'm very excited about seeing your town. Uh, I'm going to pull out here, and we're going to go down Main Street. Would you mind telling me a little bit about Esterville while we're going down Main Street? Well, no problem. Okay, let's go. All right. Well, so tell me, first of all, how many people live in Esterville? And just under 8,000 people. Really? Yeah. That's a nice amount. You know, Esterville was a railroad town in the early days mm -hmm. and uh, had some rather large hotels and, and uh, baseball teams and the whole deal. Really? Mm hmm And Edith, are you from here? Is this home? Well, I always forget to watch the road, so i got to watch yes, the road. Yes, watch the road. That's right. <laughs> well, uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what your involvement is. And are you from this area, the two of you? Well, from Gretinger. I didn't get very far. Moved up to Esterville. Sure. And love the town. Have lived there for uh, since 1985. Lived in Israel since 85. Yes. Awesome, awesome. And what? Uh, tell me, we're going down Main Street. It looks very historic. A lot of brick, a lot of brick, a lot of brick and stone. Uh, Library Square is up here on our left. Is that right over here? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And well, that's uh, incredible. That's completely redone. Carnegie Building and uh, the courthouse square is just to the north of it. Sure. The library can get Very you cool. any book you want. They are wonderful. Really? Books, so helpful. Yeah. Really. And tell me, folks, uh, about some of the other things here in town. We can see the historic aspect of the downtown. Uh, do you have. Obviously, nice shopping and oh, shops. shopping! Bought Edith, this you like yesterday. The shop? I love shopping. <laughs> Just bought this yesterday. We have wonderful shopping. Well, there you go. And if you like trinkets, there's a there's a store that has everything you could possibly really? want. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll have yeah. to check those out yes. so when we get done with our tour. Do a little shop. But you could show us all the hot stuff. Yes, I could. Hairstylists. We have a ton of hairstylists. Love there my hair. Go. Awesome. Yeah. There you go. Uh, tell me too. Uh, uh, Things to do, uh, that sort of thing. What, what else happens in town? Well, you know, we have a, a community college. Oh, really? Yeah, and they have sports, and there's also a wellness center out by the community college. And it's a new facility. You know, I think I went by that when I was coming to pick you up. It's quite the facility. You know, it's right next to the fairgrounds and uh, new wind energy program at the college. Has got a new building there, and it's close to the wellness center, which is you amazing. Have a, wellness center? a wellness center. I mean, if you're moving here, not many places have a wellness center. No doubt. Swimming pool, exercise, anything and you, you can think of. And you had mentioned fair. Mm-hmm. Emma County Fair. Uh, Esterville is the county seat for Emma County. Okay. And uh, quite a quite a auction, 4-H gathering there. Uh, been doing the auctions there for three decades. Really? Yeah. Really. So that yeah. brings up a good point. The two of you, tell me a little, you know what, I'm going to pull over for just a second if Might you don't be mind. safer. Because a little safer <laughs> from driving here. I'm going to pull over a little bit. Hold on. Oh, don't wreck my car. <laughs> Stop here. Okay. So now let's take a little break. Tell me a little bit about your business and what you do for the community. Yeah. You called a great place. We are the spouses selling houses, <laughs> and we cool. do a great job of it. And Mike is also an auctioneer. We're okay. a full-service real estate. So now when you say full-service, what, what does that entail? Well, you list your house, and we sell it for you, and then you have all these items that you can't move. Well, we have an auctioneer, so we'll there auction off things. And if you're moving those items... We have trailers. He, he he does the work. He does the, <laughs> But I will set up the time when he picks there up you your go. stuff I and moves your, it. I'll, I'll take your job. I love that my job. Good. Love it. She <laughs> loves her job. <laughs> but we can coordinate a lot of people in so regard now, to getting you moved and taken care of. 
Awesome. So how long have the two of you been doing this? Well, 34 been years. Doing it. Yes. 34, since what year did you start? 1980. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you've been in this game a long time. Yeah. I joined so. him like in 99 because I worked at the school and we have a fantastic school. We really do. Okay. Um, our kids went to school there, and I tell you, they're very smart kids. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Uh, uh, great. I mean, all the grades, kindergarten, school, yes. senior, yes. and you have a community college. Well, what's yes. nice about the situation is, is at the high school, if you want to take college courses, you can take some college courses. Really? Yeah, even four-year courses, wow. which is not offered in very many communities. And they have fiber optics set up and everything right there at the college, and I believe they have it available at the high school also. Oh, that's incredible. So that you has can a sit tremendous asset And the community. classes are basically free at the high school level. Well, that's a great asset. Unbelievable. Well, cool. You know what? I'm going to continue our tour a little bit and continue to drive down the street here. Back on the main street. Oh, yeah, this is very nice. Uh, and I see a mall area coming up here on this side. Quite a few businesses out here. Well, you've got Murray Road that's implements, uh, snowmobile dealers. Uh, you know, we're home of Aero Wheels. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, Aero, why have I heard that? Aero Wheels are the uh, NASCAR uh, yes, wheel course. builders, and they have a 92% market share. Really? Mm hmm And then there's GKN, which is Armstrong Rim and Wheel, Okay. and they're wheel builders, and they have over a 35% market share in the, in the world for Incredible. building rims. That's right here in Esterville. That's in Esterville. Well, now tell me on another subject a little bit. Uh, if I'm looking for a home, if I'm looking for... Uh, an investment, maybe to start a business or something like that. You can help me with all that. Oh, yes. We're, we're commercial, residential, and farm. Okay. Yes. So, so if I wanted an acreage or want to buy a couple sections of that good farm oh, land. Oh, we would love you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That would be, that would be uh, kudos because uh, the opportunity for agriculture and for commercial business is, is quite good in our area. We're, we're uh, associated with the... Uh, corridor of opportunity through uh, the lakes area and Polaris is just 14 miles west of us. Oh really? Mm-hmm. And they've expanded greatly in Victory Motorcycles. Oh, I've and heard so of them. Yeah, very, very And then nice. you have uh, uh, Arco Ag in Jackson. You know, we, we're quite the hub and in And that's all to in the area? All within a short commute. Well, that's awesome. That's, awesome. That's what makes Esterville a good buy for real estate. And, and are you are you married, Jeff? Uh, no, I'm totally single, oh. living in my well, little county. Well, you still have to eat. We have oh, lots right. of restaurants, okay. nice restaurants. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mexican, Chinese, well, this is certainly anything, pizza. We have everything. Well, it sounds like every, anything you want is here in town. It well, is. I tell it you is. what, Woody's has got a pretty good pizza. Well, there you go. Yeah. Now, Woody's, that's a name I recognize, too, <laughs> because that is well-known throughout uh, the northwest part of... Uh, Just on the west side of the River Bridge on yeah. Highway. Well-known in Iowa, Minnesota, mm -hmm. uh, as an old uh, old faithful. Yep. Yes, very, very cool. I think they've been making pizzas since 62. Wow. And you can ship them out to California. My uncle loves them so much, I <laughs> ship one out there at Christmas time. Really? I do. Shipping pizzas. I do. <laughs> Uh, so tell me, too, uh, as I pull up here, I'm kind of going around here and looking at some different things. Um, uh, we've talked about your schooling. Any other uh, highlights about well, the community? Fort Defiance, the park, the park oh, is Edith. so nice. Let's let Edith tell us about yeah. that. Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> you know, there's trails that they've developed. You can go on walking trails. It's a beautiful wooden lodge. That's where our daughter had her, you know, the night before the wedding party. Sure. And, oh, we had a good time that time. Yeah. There you go. Wow. And, and don't forget our river that goes through the town. Gorgeous river. Now, you're a, a railroad river town. Mm -hmm. That's We're the, the west branch of the Des Moines River. Wow. And comes all the way down from uh, Wyndham, Minnesota, over by uh, Lake Chetek. Mm -hmm. is the source on it and Esterville has city parks a lot of cities that have 40,000 people don't have as many parks as Esterville oh, cool. has and they're they're dispersed without you know throughout the community mm -hmm. uh, athletic fields just just really nice parks with playgrounds and the whole deal have a new one up on uh, North Highway 4 uh, in Esterville that has uh, 
the cushion surface and everything right there in the residential area on and North you, Esterville. And you have all this in a town of 8,000 people. Less than 8,000 people. So it's not only a safe community because of its size, but it has a lot of activities to do. Activities. Well, That's the Avira House Hospital System has invested a lot of money in, in Esterville because we draw from such a large area. Mm -hmm. And beautiful hospital, beautiful clinic, uh, updated facility, and they have uh, emergency helicopter service right there if there's if you have a bad situation. It's very well organized. So you're close to education, you're close to health care, you're close to nature with the river and Fort Defiance. I mean, it, Incredible. it's heaven right there. Incredible. And well, the county has some beautiful parks too and a new nature center out at the Walden Park. Incredible indeed. Yeah. You know what? I can tell already that I'm going to have to come back and visit you guys again. Yes. Uh, because this looks like the kind of town that I would like to settle down in. Well, there's a lot of things to do for people that want to settle into a place without a lot of big city congestion. Right. <laughs> I if know you just come what you back, mean. If you come back, we'll, we'll give you a ride in our canoe down the river. Oh, it's I would beautiful. love it. Yes. I would love it. Can I uh, not drive the canoe, but can I steer the canoe? No. You're no. going to be in the middle. <laughs> no. I only trust him. I not, don't not swim. The, not, <laughs> the, not the way you're driving. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. We better have you in charge of that. That's for sure. Well, this has been incredible, and we're just coming up on your place here again. We've gone the whole circle around just down Main Street. Uh, we haven't even hit the the uh, uh, the. the housing districts and different things we're gonna to have to come back and see well, that we have another day absolutely but you know we we bought the old golden sun farm service elevator okay and we're in the front office and the back part is just a very scary old elevator really <laughs> we still have the Fairbanks scale right in the office well we have to check that out <laughs> now uh, before I come back um, I can get on your website, I assume, yes. and see some of the houses oh, and, yeah. and properties and different things. Clarkandrealtors.com. Yes, get Wonderful. On that well, I'll check that mm -hmm. out, and we'll definitely uh, uh, check it out. So I'm just pulling up here. Somebody can stop here. And uh, I want to thank you both for giving me this tour of Esterville. This has been great fun. Thank you, Edith. Thank a pleasure you. It's so meeting nice you. to meet you. And it's Mike? Jeff, right? Jeff, correct. You go yeah. easy. Oh, yes. I will, <laughs> I'll be heading out of town, but I am going to come back. So thank you, you both very much. I think I got your number. Yes. <laughs> and give me a call. Give I me will. a call and tell me some more things that we can share with, with the folks. Oh, there's and, a lot uh, more to share. Yeah. Uh, and we will definitely check out your website real soon. You so, Thank Have you very day. much. Thank Take you. Care. Thank Take you. Care. We'll see you now. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Well, this has been great fun checking out Esterville, Iowa, and I'm very excited to come back here again, that's for sure. And we'll be anxious to see you next time when I'm in the driver's seat.